When gears mesh, they make a lot of noise. And by holding tighter tolerances, we can, um, we can eliminate the, the noise that gears produce when they mesh together. Hey, it's gearing up to be a great day because I'm holding it down here with my friend Al over at Heinbook. Al, how you doing today, man? I'm doing well, but you need to get a grip on that one, man. <laughs> there we go. And that is how you start an interview. I love it. So, hey, we're looking at a variety of products, but today we're focusing on what grinds your gear specifically. Well, yeah. I'm glad you asked. So here at the Gear Show, we're supporting manufacturing gears with precision work holding. Precision work holding is very important when it, it comes to holding gears and holding tight tolerances. Which makes sense. And then knowing the gear world like I do, you're talking tight tolerances, tough materials, things that matter. How are you not only navigating these issues, but providing value to users at the spindle? Well, when you, when you cut a gear, first of all, you need a lot of clearance for the, uh, a hobbing tool or whatever way you're going to cut the gear to, um, to get to it. So having the clearance for, um, for hopping gears is important to us and, and important to work holding. So what we do is we give you the clearance that you need to get the, the tool in to cut a gear. This sounds interesting. And when it comes to other alternatives, what are some clear identifiable differences and key indicators for how your products perform? Well, I mean, we do OD and ID clamping. And, and to cut a gear, most gears, you hold it from the ID. And, um, and cut the teeth in the gear, whether you're hobbing it or, or skiving it or whatever. Um, and we can also hold a gear um, from the OD after it's cut, we can, uh, we can cut a contour into a clamping head and locate on the, the pitch line or pitch diameter and clamp on the major and minor diameter. And that way, when, it, when a gear comes back from heat treat and you need to touch up that ID bore, they can machine that ID bore while locating on the pitch line. It's real important. You know, intriguing when it comes to solving problems, what are maybe one or two of some of the very interesting, maybe custom applications you can speak to that you have helped solve? Well, that, that's, that's a great question. The, the main one is when gears mesh, they make a lot of noise. And by holding tighter tolerances, we can, um, we can eliminate the, the noise that gears produce when they mesh together. It's important in electric motors because electric motors are very quiet so you need more precise gears. Very true, and so we talked earlier about smart work holding, and that's something that really just a light bulb went off and I said, I have to know more. So for all of our lucky viewers there, explain to us what this smart work holding concept that's is. Great question, I'd love to. So Heinbook has come up with smart work holding, our line of IQ chucks, where they have embedded sensors. So we can measure spindle speed, we can measure clamping force, we can measure part diameter, we can measure part temperature, and for uh, part confirmation, we can um, eliminate air sensing and, and measure part contact on an end stop. So what does that do? That allows you to um, have, have real-time information coming right from the chuck. So rather than having preventive maintenance in the future, now we can have predictive maintenance. If you see a part, where the diameter is starting to change, you can stop it before you make a scrapped part. So here you save money there, you make better parts, you make have better processes, all with the information we can give you right from the work holding. You mean work holding that helps you predict the future? Almost, predictive maintenance, yes, because you watch it go. For instance, even part temperature. If you see the part getting hotter, maybe the tool is getting duller. If you see you're losing clamping force, maybe you know that that chuck needs to be greased. Um, so yes, you, um, you eliminate scrap and you eliminate problems. Plus, you can also eliminate quality checks by taking a part to the quality lab by checking it right on the, the machine itself. It's basically in process, in process engaging right from the chuck. There we go. Hey, Heimbook Work Holding, the latest and greatest, bringing value to gear makers across the industry. Hey, Al, thank you so much for letting me hold it down with you. Thank we'll see you. you all next time.